transition to the roads and sort of just relax a little bit in those initial miles. Uh, I remember uh, after London when I went to the track, it's everything hard. I was like, why, why, why I do this? It's hard. I'm stupid. Why I did this? But after I come to track, I thought, I thought I was my head. Okay, I know I'm going to say to myself, I'm stupid. Why I did track? But when I come, I didn't really have any problem because I think you can, you can push yourself because yeah. I was really picky. I push myself. So I think in the last 10 days ago, I was tired and I just don't want to run. I hate running. And I think maybe I pushed myself from, but coming from track to marathon is easy, yeah. especially when I feel ready. You can easily overtrain it. Mm -hmm. But the problem is go from marathon to track is very hard. Yeah. Because you are already using your slow to weight, yeah. your body is already slow, but I was already, yeah. Your turnover is there. Yeah, turnover, yeah. The they changing the gear is uh, from track to marathon because you, Every few you just slow and go hard, uh, go further, and that's it. But the, go another, change the, to the speed, the track gear is very hard, but to yep. change it to marathon is easier. You've been in Utah, sorry? No, no. In Utah training? Yes, I was in Utah Park City. How long? Uh, six weeks. Since, oh, since, uh, since yeah, okay. I was in the Netherlands, I have some couple media, and then okay. maybe three days later, I just slow Can I ask you about, um, do you think track and you're because you know you're sprinting more? I mean, do you think that it makes it easier for you to sprint even after that long distance? Is that what you is that why you could you did well, you won London, so it's not like <laughs> in a sprint, in basically. A sprint. So and, and where do you get that extra energy to sprint? Do you think it's because of track? I, I think maybe the way, you know, everybody we all get talent and uh, I think the way I am, maybe just I use back to the ground run 800, 1500 meters. It's still sometimes I go to run marathon, half marathon or something. Uh, or maybe mental, I really, I couldn't figure out that thing. I also <laughs> asked myself. And uh, the only thing I come up with, I ask the family, they say my dad decided is very good at 800. My grandma, my mother decided oh, wow. very good at long, long distance. They go to... That's the only I can figure. I was like, I'm also curious, like, like, like you. Maybe genetic? Maybe genetic, but it, you can train it. I, yeah. uh, look, it's good to people believe in genetic, but I don't want people to think, oh, um, it's not because of, I can't do that because of my genetic. No, I don't want to. You can train it, you can improve yourself. That I want to see, because children, I don't want to say, oh, I don't have genetic. No, we can't do anything. We are amazing. We are amazing human beings. Did you just say your grandma ran? 
No, she's no run. I say they, they, they walk a lot. They oh. go long distance. I yeah. see. Yeah. I was going to say, how far? No. Were your mom? <laughs> Did no, your no. mom run? No, no. My dad. My so dad. dad was my dad is the school runner. very good at the I see. Yeah, that's Did you take oh. any time off after Budapest? No, how how was supposed to do if you have enough? <laughs> Because when you did your triple in Tokyo, it took you eight months to really start full-time training again. This is only six weeks. Like, how tired are you physically, and emotionally, and mentally? Because the Tokyo was, uh, look, the, the Budapest was actually half, uh, uh, I wasn't really 100% in Budapest and uh, mentally. I was really thinking about uh, Chicago Marathon. I was like, oh my God. I was even doing after my heat, after my race, doing some, doing uh, on the track after the race, go to make more kilometers. That was so for I Chicago? Think, yeah. Yeah, 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 because I have to have enough kilometers to make it. So I may also make uh, myself that tired. Even after heat, I just go to jump into the track and do some, make more strides, make more kilometers. You know, and the marathon is about making enough, enough mileage. So and uh, they, they, if we to look at the uh, Tokyo, and I was all about uh, how. It was my, 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 my goal, it was my dream to do three distance and I was thinking almost more than a year working hard and, and, and when you decided, you know, you have a hormone all in your body, once you get what you want, you get crushed. I was crushed after that because I was really focusing on everything. But in Budapest, I did for fun. I'm like, I'm like, I'm very serious and I'm fun person. Let's, let's figure out. I, I know I was ready at 50, I know I was ready at 5,000 meters, the probability I was already 10,000 meters because I'm already happy marathon training. Yeah. But I was like this for fun. You know, it's, it's well, it's, if it's going well, it's good. If it's not going well, yeah. who cares? You know, it's a life. It's just, You're training just, for Chicago, basically. Yeah. Right? yeah, I'm training for Chicago, but it's good to also, we don't have to stress on it, get, get. I already have gold. Whatever I get, it gets more, you know? So, did you feel when you were stopping to stretch? During London, what was, were you thinking, oh no, or were you just like learning, learning? No, I was like, when I stopped stretching, I was like, oh no, this is what I'm gonna learn. I don't even, I thought I'm gonna stop. I'm like, okay. I thought I'm gonna learn. I was like, oh God, I just wanna learn more. I'm like, I already ran 21 kilometers. I just wanna do at least 15, 13 and feel how well, how it feels. I thought like, oh, I just like, oh, I thought I'm done. I'm done. I never thought I'm done. No, this here we go. This is my drama. <laughs> what did you think? What you want? I, I couldn't believe. It. Still now, I couldn't believe. It. I think it's something like a, I don't know. It's a miracle. I feel like it's something. I, I, it's just something like it's amazing. I can't even believe it still now. <laughs> Ruth Chepengedich. She said she might go out between 65-40 and 66 flat for the first half, that's what she's thinking. Do you oh. think you would go with that pace? Yeah, I, I just, you know, I'm, 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 I'm kind of uh, really very curious person. Even I'm sure uh, I already did one marathon. If I don't do also, I will go and see what is going to happen, how I ended up. So I'm always like that. I'm like, this is the way I am. I'm very curious about that. I will go with her and see what I, what I can do and how, whether I hang on with her or whether I get, uh, yeah. And what do you think, if you did a full marathon build up, just focused on the marathon, like what do you think you could run as a best time? I, I don't know, I really, I don't know because I, even I haven't done full, full marathon yet mm -hmm. and uh, whether I did uh, done a lot of competition it is just a beginning to decide what I can do look if you ask me trust and I know where, where I am and I know what I am I know uh, where I was in Tokyo I know where I saw hard world championship that's why I was like uh, in Tokyo when I get uh, silver brooms at 50 I was disappointed because I know my shape. But in, uh, in that uh, world champion, I was so happy because I know where I come, where I am. I was like, wow, okay, I become number three, you know? It's, it's just marathon for me, it's hard to see. Like, I don't have really money, uh, enough knowledge to sure. decide. All right, thank you, Scott. Who do you 